Hi you guys, so today I'm gonna show you my Dollar Tree haul, but first I wanna show you my seed starting area. So I am still working on this. I'm expecting some more grow lights to come in the mail, and then I'm gonna grab some more um, seed starting trays and things like that. So it's not done yet, but I just wanna show you what I have going on so far. So let me flip this camera around. So here is my shelf. Um, I actually am gonna have two. I'm gonna use this one. This is actually from a, a greenhouse. And then that white shelf. Those are gonna be two shelves that I use to, I think this will be where I'm starting seeds and this will be when they get a little bit more mature, um, then they can sit on that shelf. But I'm super excited. So I've got, I've got a hodgepodge of grow lights. That's just how it is. But I'm so excited to start my seeds. It's quite early right now it's January and in January it is really cold in Ohio and we've actually got some snow here today but um, I'm super excited so I'm just preparing early um, that way I'm ready to go um, so far I've done some seed sowing and milk jugs outside you can kind of see them there through the plastic but yeah so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that and now let's get on to the Dollar Tree so, I want to show you guys this. I got these from the Dollar Tree. These are seed starting greenhouses. Um, I got two of them only because I am collecting um, household things that I can use as little greenhouses right now. So I didn't do a ton, but these are really cute and perfect for someone who doesn't have anything. Um, I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm collecting, which is very similar. So these are actually, the um, containers that like you buy um, packaged sliced meat in. So I've been saving these and these are perfect little greenhouses. And if you were doing winter sowing outdoors, you can use this as well. I would just poke um, a couple holes up here and that way that snow rain um, can get through there. But yeah, so that's that's kind of my alternative. Now, the difference with these greenhouses is that you're going to have a lid that actually sticks out above as, as opposed to this that's more flat. But that would be the only real difference. Let me show you something else. Oop, Jonesy. So then I have these that I'm saving for seed starting um, and propagation too. Like this, this was a Danish, had a Danish in it. And so this is perfect for seed starting or propagating plants. Um, I'm like, I feel like I'm super resourceful. So I'm saving all of these things because um, I know that I'll, I'll need them. Okay, so let's see what else I got from the Dollar Tree. So right here, we have these plant clips and these are gonna be so perfect in the garden because you can clip um, like your tomato plants to a trellis, to poles, um, whatever you use to hold your plants up. You know, you can clip your bean plants. I mean, anything, anything that you need clips for. You can even use these clips to um, clip up, you know, your grow lights. They're super handy and useful around the garden and in the house. I will probably won't use these in the house. I'll use these outside, but yeah. All right, so where is the rest of my stuff? Okay. Down here, I got a couple of these. These are perfect for those little seedlings that are ready for the next stage. So I got these, these are perfect for that next stage too. Depends on what you're growing though. That would depend on which size you wanna bump it up to. And then I have more clips down here cause I knew I was gonna need a bunch. So yeah, so this haul is like a compilation of several different hauls because I kept going to my um, Dollar Tree because they hadn't put all of their seeds out yet so anyway these are um, trays that you put under your plants and this will catch the water when you water your plants these are for inside and then I have these here these are six for a six inch those other ones are ten inch perfect place to buy to buy those trays, those Dollar Tree. So here are the seeds that I grabbed. Um, I, I got a lot of my seeds from Dollar Tree last year. A lot of the vegetables that I started came from Dollar Tree. And so this year, one of my focuses is gonna be on 
uh, peppers. So I wanted to grab all the peppers that they had. My husband is, is someone who really loves hot peppers and things like that. So I got those for him. And then I grabbed these cute little metal galvanized pots. Those are cute. Two different sizes. I thought they were adorable. Let me see. Do I have anything else from the Dollar Tree? I usually... No, I stuck a few other seeds from Dollar Tree in here, and I have to remember where I have them. I've been going crazy collecting tons and tons of seeds. Where are they at? Just give me a sec, because it... Here they go. So, Dollar Tree... Is also selling come on these microgreens which I thought was really really cool and this is a big full pack of seeds so okay. got the hot mix and then you have a mild mix and we love microgreens love them on salads sandwiches everything So this is how I keep all of my seeds. I keep them in this little photo bin. And actually, I'll probably end up end up buying another one of these before um, the end of this year. Because I know this is going to be full. And then I have all these seeds here. I have seeds coming in the mail from Etsy and then Amazon. So, yeah, I'm going to need another one. So here are the elusive stackable three-tier planters that everyone has been raving about uh, for the last few years from Dollar Tree. Um, I actually grabbed some last year. I had two from last year. And then this year I was able to find so many more. I think it's because I was, um, I must have got there, you know, right after they put them out. But yeah, look at that. I grabbed eight and I have two more in the garage so these I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with these but I think I'm gonna do like um, some small um, vegetables and herbs some leafy things lots of leafy things for in here and then I was thinking um, one of the ones I have in the garage are already planted with strawberries so I was thinking I'll just have strawberries on the top two top two and then the rest you know do some leafy greens bok choy, you know, some herbs, some shard, and then any other, you know, small varieties of vegetables that I can find. So that is it of the Dollar Tree haul. It's not huge. Um, I didn't really need a ton I was really just waiting for the seeds to come in so that I could um, just bulk up my seed collection but yeah all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one